ข้าวผัดหมูกรอบ She's cutting up some tomatoes. This is going to be used to make a simple stir fry. One of the most delicious parts of this stir fry is that she uses mukrab, which is fried pork belly. You'll see that in front of her. That'll be added later to the stir fry. That's just white onion. We sell that same knife at importfood.com. It's a, it's a nice knife, very inexpensive, stainless steel, high quality Kiwi brand knife made in Thailand. We also offer that same wok turner, which is really built to last. She's put some oil into her wok, and in goes an egg. You can learn how to make stir-fried rice just like this. Uh, just follow the same steps that the vendor uses. The ingredients don't have to ch uh, don't have to be exactly the same, and you can make a great fried rice. There, she's adding rice. That's just steamed jasmine rice. And there go the greens. Uh, that is similar to kale, sliced kale. In Thai, it's called kanat. That is golden mountain sauce. We offer that at importfood.com. And that was just a little touch of ketchup. Ketchup is often added to stir-fried rice in Thailand. We offer a Thai-style spicy ketchup, which is a, a nice way to cook this. You can see a link to the right of your screen. That is brown sugar, just a touch of MSG. There go the tomatoes and the onion. That's that moo crab, which is fried pork belly. She's made that herself. Really adds a lot of flavor to the stir-fried rice. She puts that in a little to-go container. You'll also note she puts uh, some sliced cucumber and lime wedges as a garnish. Thanks a lot for watching this look at a Thai street vendor prepare Thai style fried rice.